So up underneath of the ball, there's a little lever to be able to actually physically catch it. So when I put that down and engage it, it's going to actually clamp around the ball and provide a secure fit. So the trailer has safety chains. So with safety chains, if for some reason something was to happen, um, the trailer will drop down onto the chains. And then that way you'll be able to have a little bit of control even though it's not physically hooked up to the truck and trailer. You want to always make sure that the cutter pins are installed so that everything is secure and latched. Um, and then we also do have parking breakaway cable and so again if the trailer was to drop uh, it'll automatically engage the brakes on the trailer and so it'll be able to provide and help you slow down um, in that type of event. The chains are always crossed for a reason? The chains are always crossed so that when, if, when and if the trailer does drop it'll actually be able to land on top of them be able to provide one bit, one more bit of uh, safety and security. So this particular truck uh, does have a couple of lights on it. So we'll go ahead and use the built-in function here and hook up the trailer lights. For the uh, safety brake, <coughs> there is a uh, certainly amount of pressure, or someone can step on it and apply. It, I mean, so um, this particular truck. Mm -hmm. uh, has what's called search brakes. So the hitch moving back and forth actually pushes hydraulic fluid and a piston back out. And so if I was to pull this cable all the way forward, it'll apply maximum pressure back out to the fluid. Um, there is one truck and trailer here that has electronic brakes, so it actually has electric. And then there's an integrated trailer brake controller inside of the truck where you can automatically adjust the gain up and down based on the load you're carrying. But um, this one, with it being search brakes, automatically figures out, based on the decel rate of the truck and trailer, how much load to be able to build, how much load to be able to build. So the only other thing at this point is we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and just raise the jack up. And now we would use our checklist, right, that we went through to be able to say, okay, did I actually go through 